गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सुस्मिता नंद लेक्चर फ्रॉम कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट टूडेज आवर टॉपिक इज डेवलपमेंट ऑफ पोर्टल्स यूजिंग एच टी एम एल सो फर्स्ट वी नो वट इज एच टी एम एल एच टी एम एल स्टैंड फॉर हाइपर टेक्सट मार्कअप लैंग्वेज इट इज द स्टैंडर्ड मार्कअप लैंग्वेज for creating web pages it describes the structure of a web page it consists of a series of elements the html elements tell the browser how to display the content in the web page html elements label pieces of content such as this is a heading this is a paragraph this is a link etc language uses tags to define what manipulation has to be done on the text html is a markup language which is used by the browser to manipulate text images and other content to display it in required format this is the example of html document this tag refer to the what type of html document this document type html this is the main part html starting tag and this is the html ending tag between these two tag all the html tags are contained html uh, page is divided into two parts one is head part another one is body part in head part the title tag is content and other tags are content in between the body tag so this is the starting of the head tag it is the ending of the head tag this is the starting of body tag this is the end of the body tag so in head tag title tag is present so this is the title tag which is represent the title of the web pages this is the starting tag this is the ending tag h1 is the heading tag and p is the paragraph tag there are six types of heading tag is present in the html file so h1 is the starting tag and here h1 is the ending tag this is the p is the starting tag and plus p is the ending tag so this is the example of the html document or html file next is the html table tag so so many different different tags are available for the html table tag this table tag define the html table an html table consists of one table element and one or more the tr th and td elements these tags or these elements have the different different role in the table the tr element defines a table row the th element defines the table header and the td element defines the data or the table cell next is anchor tag in html so the anchor tag in html can be defined as a means to create a hyperlink that can link your current page on which the text is being converted to hypertext via a this is represent as the anchor tag to another page this anchoring from one page to another is made possible by the attribute href which can be abbreviated as hypertext reference the attribute href of the anchor tag is implemented for defining the address or path to which this hypertext will get linked in other words it can be said that it directs you out of your page to that destination page whose link you have mentioned within the double quotes of the href attribute as value so for anchor tag this is represent as the anchor tag and for the anchor tag we are using the href attribute for the hyperlink for the linking the pages we are using the anchor tag next is our html form 
An HTML form is used to collect user input. The user input is most often sent to a server for processing. The form element is a container for different types of input elements such as text fields, checkboxes, radio buttons, submit buttons, etc. So, for the form, for designing a form in the web page on website, we are using the HTML form tab and the element for designing the HTML for a form. Next is our HTML frame. There are different types of frame are present in the HTML. HTML provides programmers for dividing a single browser display into multiple window sections where each section holds the capability to load individual URLs. This concept of HTML providing multiple frames at one browser display is called frame set and all the frame tags are used within the container tag is known as this. This tag is used for defining a specific window or frame inside the frame set tag. Every frame within the frame set tag may use attributes for different purpose like broader, the sizing capability, include scrolling etc. The main use of frames is for displaying menus in any portion of your page along with the content in another part of the page. Multiple HTML pages can be seen at once within the single via port of the browser window using this tab. So, we are using the frame tab for the displaying many pages in one page. Okay, maybe it in horizontally form, maybe it the vertical form. So, what are the advantages of the HTML? HTML is a widely used language. Every browser supports HTML language. It is easy to learn and use. It is by default in every windows. So, we don't have to need purchase extra software or extra hardware. So, in any, so any hardware composition, in any software composition, we can run the HTML file. There is no need of specific things for the HTML. Next, what are the disadvantages? It can create only static and plain pages, not the dynamic pages. So, if we need dynamic pages, then HTML is not useful. This is only for the designing the static web pages, not for the dynamic web pages. Need to write lot of code for making simple web page. So, for making a simple web page, we have to write lots of code. Jo, jo, uh, that is uh, time consuming, time taking. For the security purpose, HTML not secure. So, security features are not good in HTML. If we need to write long code for making a web page, then it produces some complexity. So, for designing a uh, long web pages or complex web pages, HTML is not the right language to use. We are not wise to using HTML. So, these are all about the advantages. And these are all about the disadvantages. Thank you.